live recording of what about it so um we did skip we skip last week because i was at wine camp and we were learning all about well i was jay was i don't know what he was doing playing video games or something i was i was learning <laughs> but we were basically basically learning about growing our businesses on social media and yeah and online um in person and all of the things but like basically basically drink wine and have a good time and learning how to help ourselves make some money with wine with wine but also help people make money with wine so if that's something that you're like oh how do i do how do i do that we talk about it honey all right but today we're gonna talk about or better yet we're gonna whine about out yeah we are whining being about things that people still say that trigger us like phrases phrases that people say so if you know something or, or you've heard someone say something to you and you know you know something that regularly occurs and express that it like annoys the you know what out of you like like let us know actually it doesn't have to necessarily annoy um but it makes you feel you feel some type of way um let us know so i'm pouring pouring a glass of rose because in case you did, in case you didn't it is international rose day and not and not that i need to drink rose but um hey hey rose rose i love it uh so yeah, as you tune in sin, say hey tell me where you're tuning in and from let me know what you know what you're drinking and let's get to it. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. Yes, I keep they keep my phone and my bro. Don't worry about it. My my business. <laughs> um, um that's my business. So uh uh pull this up on my phone so I I can make sure that I see comments, comments, because sometimes it doesn't allow me, me to see when my friends are are talking to my okay. okay. And I and I love tech of Omnia. All right, all right, all right. Hey, right. hey, Amy, for sharing. Thanks for the love. Um, growing up, the hearts and all that good stuff. Okay, okay. let's get to it. First, first things first. Things first. So, who I am? I'm, I'm Tiara, aka T. Your, your one diva. And I help you find you find why we're going to love. I am also an actor. Actor. I'm a life and, and business coach. I love to help you feel you feel comfortable and calm on camera and leverage live video so you can grow your your business online. Okay. And then who are you, dude? I'm I'm Jay. I'm here with color commentary. You're here. You're here commentary. Okay. 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 What what up? All right, let's get to it. Let us let us know our phrases that really trigger you, trigger you, that bother you, that make you feel some type of way. Uh, put it in comments. Let us just know. For first things first, let's talk about let's talk about what does trigger mean? What is it? What is the phrase is triggered? What does triggered mean to you? Let me know. I always, I always think of it as a short end for trigger your zero and mm. like you know, it causes causes something. So in this in this case, it'll be like an emotional rise out of you, you, some response you gotta give, or like a change in change in thoughts, you know? Ooh, I like that. What about you? I like I like that. Triggers an emo I I mean, for me it just means it elicits elicits but I said it triggers an emotional that's the phrase triggers. Um elicits an emotional response. Whether it is negative, whether whether it's positive, it's thing that kind of gives you a visceral sort of reaction based on hearing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down with it. Yeah. So in this case, in this case though, where are we going with it today? Today. Where are we going with it today? We are going. We're going to California with. <laughs> um. Yes, we are. We're from Is Los there Angeles. Anything that triggers you about Cal about California, specifically LA? LA. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know if I'm triggered by LA. LA. I do. I would say say something. That I feel like I feel like we'll always say it's gonna take like 30 minutes to get somewhere, and God knows, God knows it does not. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, for, so Mani says mean, meaning that there is a be response. That's really. Great. I feel like sometimes my, my response I judged you in my my head, but you immediately immediately judged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of wonder about that. I guess I do do, but like. If I don't respond immediately, hmm, I wonder. Mm, I don't think you have to say anything to be triggered. Triggered though. Like sometimes people, people are like, if they're very re tipsy, like, all right, just let me know if you're too drunk, and then they just, they just for that whole conversation and have the same conversation with you again, with you again. I'm triggered, guy. We're not doing any more drinking thing things with you tonight. You know? <laughs> That's in my head, but like the next time. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap the key. I'm mm -hmm. gonna make sure somebody gets some 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 water. I might not do it, do it immediately, but you know I guess she's right though. Right though, it's still a response. 
you people. You said drunk. You said drunk. And that made me our friend who says that every time. <laughs> what do you mean, me and you people? That's his, that's the, the trigger for him. That's his trigger. He says that, 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 you know, oh, it's time. Yeah, he does waste it. Um, um, what's up, Zach Diva? How you doing, Bo? All so right. What about LA, though? No, none dream. The thing that really, like, particularly, particularly, I feel like because I'm not a nat- native, and a lot of people in here, so it's not not like I get there's not anyone that's like, well, you're not a native, not a native, not good enough. But there's also no one that's like, um, um, for you. What about when the, the popo starts swerving, swerving down the high and slowing down the tra- traffic right in front of you? Popo so don't do that. No. Dang. They so. treat me nice. <laughs> that's Dang. not my, that's not my problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, a random phenomenon on in LA where I guess they'll just they'll just slow the traffic, less crashes or something. Some I don't know. Um, I saw one guy pick up pick up bumper. On mm-hmm. the street, which you know, made, you know, made sense. So, anyways, the topic is phrases that just like random people, random people's actions, um, t- trigger us and like what people people say. So there's nothing that people say that trigger me, and like that's like an like an LA thing, I guess. Um, aside from like, from like the oh yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna take three minutes to get somewhere and somewhere, and you know, it's gonna take like an hour. An hour. Um, ain't no way I'm getting to like into like the <laughs> in thirty minutes. Oh, my, my have an echo. What? There's an echo? Sound is laughing. The, the sound is being. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't have anything anything that's like plugged in at this point in time. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Where, where is that from? This almost, almost day. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's, let's turn on my microphone to see if that works better. Do I sound better now? Let us know. <laughs> It's like self-defense all the way, like what you say. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so what else is it that like, I think there was one thing that was LA related that. I remember one of our friends says there's a phrase that only people, or he's heard people say in LA, but I can't remember what it was. Becca was saying it. Um, for sure. Yeah, for sure. But I say for sure all the time, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Jay, your eyelashes are banging. If you're watching us on Instagram, I have a filter on. So I look way better on Instagram than I do on my <laughs> on Facebook right now. <laughs> so non-LA people, do people say for sure around you? Is it a thing? Because I feel like it's a thing. We're, you're, you take us so off topic. You know what triggers me that Justin says? <laughs> It's yeah, Justin when talk. Justin starts asking questions that's not related to the topic of today, the live mm-hmm. podcast stream. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there was another phrase though, and I'm trying to remember what it was. Butch cakes. Oh well. So what is something that people say that trigger you, babe? I don't have too many triggers, honestly. Like mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing too much that triggers me. I feel like usually I manage to steer conversations around, like, if they're going to go a certain way I'm not interested in. So it doesn't come up too much. How mm-hmm. about you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so first thing, I think what has had inspired this topic for this week was that I was in, like, Messenger with someone and someone we were talking, and the person was like, hey, woman. And it really, I don't know what it is and why, but for whatever reason, if someone straight up just calls me woman, it like bugs the shit out of me. I don't like, I don't, I don't know. I think it really stems back to the time, like a time where like, I think I saw it on a t- on TV or heard it in like real life or something. I don't know. Or someone was like, uh, woman, make me a sandwich or like it, something like that. And I feel like it has like this negative connotation. And so since then, I really don't like to be called just straight up woman like you know I have a name or you can find another endearment to to use with me so like that's kind of you know that was my first trigger and I was like oh I should talk about that on on wine about it what about when people call you like different flavors of chocolate it doesn't really not nah, trigger not me by mocha latte or? I mean it depends on who's saying it <laughs> but um I'm like it's more of a like what is our relationship are we are we close enough for you to be like talking about me like are, you know I had a friend in in high school who used to call me his like cocoa butter baby or something like that and I was like I was okay with it but it was funny right <laughs> but you know if I don't know you and you roll up and you're like hey my like mocha latte something something I'm like back up also, we're in a pandemic, so you better be, like, not rolling up on me, okay? <laughs> we ain't got time for that, right? <laughs> no? Not funny? Oh, I'm with you. I'm You're with not you. with me. You're not with You have this fate, like, this, like, deadpan. Mm. Hashtag triggered, because you just, like, sometimes I'm like, all right, babe, and you're like, 
are you listening to me? What you don't say triggers me. <laughs> is that is that a thing? Can you be triggered by people not saying something? Yes, because I just did. I, guess. I just did. Um, also, mm. other phrase that triggers me is smile. Like if some, you know, like ladies, I know some ladies are listening or watching or whatever. Have you ever walked down the street and somebody be like, oh girl, you need to smile, smile more girl. You'd be so much prettier if you smile. Bitch, <laughs> one, I smile enough in life. I think I'm a very smiley, bubbly person, so I'm good. But if I don't want to smile at you, that's my business and my Joe's, okay? You don't need to tell me to smile. <laughs> Ooh, all right. She says, when waitresses or cashiers say sweetie when they're talking to you. Ooh. So for me, if you're younger than me or the same age, nah, not about it. You have I to mean, be older than me. You've got to be like, 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 you know, my parents' age. Like, it doesn't bother me when you're, like, older. But, like, if you're, like, the same age as me. Yeah, 40s or 50s is good. Like, some 50-year-old lady, she's probably younger than my parents probably would be. It's possible she could be my parents, but it's still all right. I'm still down with it. 40s, maybe, if they look extra motherly. You know, if they have that motherly vibe about them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's fine when it's, like, like a woman, though. Like, if it's a dude, and it kind of weirds me out, though. Like, if it's an old man, I'm like, are you being creepy? Or are you just, like, being Southern? I don't know. Well, why not both? <laughs> what? A creepy old Southern man? Yeah, that's yeah, fine, too. It happens. It does. It does happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't had that once during the pandemic, though. I guess the sweeties have gone away. You're 30. Well, I am 30 and Justin will be 32 this year. Mm. Oh, oh, snap. Because I'm about to be 31, honey. Mm. Libra life <laughs> in October. <laughs> Woo, we getting up there. You know what? There was a time we were in our 20s, man. Honey. Mm. <laughs> was it that mm. long ago? It feels you? so long ago. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, ooh, okay. So another phrase. Let us know your phrases. Keep letting us know whether you're on Instagram or watching on the Facebook or on the YouTubes, wherever you're watching. Um, next phrase, I want you to talk about this one, Dad. Or Dad, what is that? Mm. Mm. Put that away. Mm. Go mm. somewhere like that, sweetie. Mm. Oh, <laughs> honey, honey. Uh, Lord have mercy. I don't know where that came from. We have another one, though. We have, all right. So Nikki said, when someone asks you a question and you give them a response, then they are like, are you sure? No, I just gave you a random answer, but just because. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, mm -hmm. are you sure? Is it? Mm. Yep, that's a trigger. That is definitely a trigger. I'm trying to think, like, someone. I, I mean, are you mixed? No, I'm not. Both of my parents are black. Are you sure? I used to get that all the freaking time, and <laughs> they used to drive me and say, "Yes, I'm sure. I know who my parents are." And they're like, "But like." Could you be like the milkman's daughter? Could you? I look just like my daddy. Back up. No. <laughs> no. Stop asking these questions. <sighs> oh. When people say we are God, what does that mean? I don't think I've ever heard that phrase. I feel like I've heard it, but I just don't understand it. I, I'm not familiar with this. To tell us more. To explain this. All right. So, Jay, you're going to cover this one yeah i have notes because that's how how we do i mean these i don't have the feels that you got on this one though but i could go ahead and start it out start so, it out uh trigger phrase is when people are like yeah so my best friend is black so your I best friend this. well obviously my <laughs> best friend is black but, your best friend <laughs> mm -hmm. but, or also it's like my cousin's black or my auntie's black my teacher's black so i can say this i'm like yeah, you know, you know, but you should just not say it, especially Maybe. since you started off that way. Obviously, we're not going a good direction. Nobody wants to hear what you're about to say unless it's a really good joke. Hey, Rhoda, how are you? So, like, I feel like if you have to add a caveat to your statement, then you probably should not be, like, saying it. Things that, okay, Monet, girl, it is International Rosé Day. And let us know if you're drinking anything, what you drink in. So we have a blush wine. So we've got a little rosé. It is a little bit on the, like, darker side. I think it's, I mean, it tastes good to me, but um, it probably should have been opened, at, like, six months ago. <laughs> um, you want some? Sure. It's a little bit sweet. It's, I know it's totally sold out from where we got it from, but it is, have to have, 
I meant to grab you a glass. That is the thing. So this is what happens when you like wait until the very last second to sit down. And then I can't fully prepare to make sure that everything is set up. Sorry, sharing mm. is caring. All right. Texas Wine Pilot says, when my ex-wife tells me her opinion on something and then adds, don't you agree? It's like a form of verbal bullying, really. It annoys the crap out of me. Ooh. That's good. Nah, you got to hit it back with that. Don't I have a choice? <laughs> no, you Respect don't. Respect my choice. <laughs> Respect please. my choice. No, no, you don't have a choice. I'm just I guess kidding. the trigger You do me, have a choice. You do have a choice. I'm on that level, actually. When people assume that I already agree with them, uh, when they haven't even talked to me about it before, I hate that. Absolutely hate that. Why are you talking about me like that? Like you just put me on blast like that, babe. <laughs> what? 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 No. What? No. No. We've you been together that. seven years. I think I know what your likes and dislikes are sometimes. Sometimes, but sometimes I'm wrong. Nope, that's totally not how the song goes. Don't worry, invent it, invent it, just go. go it's like phone. Britney Spears, like sometimes I run <laughs> is what it really is supposed to be, but you know, I like sometimes it. I'm wrong. <laughs> sometimes I'm right. <laughs> sometimes I'm scared of you. Those are the real words, but mm. um, anyways, moving on. Moving on, what's the next? So we were saying that my best friend or whomever that is in your circle of trust is black. For someone that is like not of the black race to say things like that, like it just, it nine times out of 10, whatever is followed by that statement is usually not something that's gonna vibe well with me. So thus- Even if you're talking about their dancing skills? I mean, I know plenty of people of all different nationalities and cultures that can dance. So although, you know, the stereotype is black people have rhythm, you don't need to be black that to be able to dance. So no, you don't need to say it. And then also, I'm also mildly triggered by it because there was a friend of mine that I had in middle school and he used to tell me that he was a quarter black and that's why he could dance. And I believed him until we graduated <laughs> high school and I met like his grandparents <laughs> or like maybe not that far, but it was like, it was like sophomore year of high school and I saw his dad because he was saying because his mom was like a um one of those moms that comes to like all the different like uh events. course and, and events and all these things so like there I've seen his mom and I was like she ain't mixed but so when I finally saw his dad I was like he ain't mixed and I felt like I felt so lied to did you ask him if he was sure <laughs> no I didn't because you know what I know how it feels to be asked if I'm sure if I'm mixed okay <laughs> Ooh, okay let's see Texas Wine Pilot is tasting a 2015 Erie Vineyards Oregon Pinot right now. Okay. Oh, yes. you lost. It's okay. I have to put it in my calendar for these national or international days. I put it in my calendar so I know. And I and I set a reminder for like at least a week you to should, tell me. You should publish a wine calendar I so that it. your friends can share the dates with you. Oh, oh, that's an idea. Mm -hmm. You know, that sounds like work, though. It's all right, though. It's all right, though. It'll be worth it. It's Just like add that. like one day at a time. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down, my friend. Mm -hmm. All right. How are you, my friend? My friend. Speaking of my friend. This, this is a positive trigger. This is a, a, so a, like, a happy trigger. You know, when you're at the store, and it's usually a Hispanic person or an African person for me. Oh, and like, yeah. you're walking by like, my friend. My friend. My friend. Like, they my don't want to say, hey. They don't want to say, hey, dude, black guy. They don't want to say amigo. They're always like, my friend, my friend. Hey, my friend. It does. It makes do you, me feel like warm and fuzzy. And I'm like, no, no I don't want this pamphlet. You were very nice but you said it. my friend. You called me friend. <laughs> and so I my sister that. gets, or my sister, my mom gets this one because she kind of looks Caribbean. So all the like African and Caribbeans will be like, my sister, my, my sister, sister, my sister. sister. Hey, hey, my sister. You know where are you from? <laughs> uh, uh, America. America. No, no, no. Where are you from? So, is that a trick? Where your Where are your people from? I mean, sometimes it depends. I think it was it was more of a trigger in school when it was like, let's put our like a pin on the uh, on the map of like where our families originate from and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I don't know, somewhere in Africa. Like, I don't know farther back than my grandparents. So like that was kind of a trigger. And like I think what was it Childish Gambino mm. had like a whole um, thing about it. Or wait, does he not go by that anymore? Probably still does. What's his real name? Donald Glover. Donald Glover. Yeah, I feel like he has like a stand up or something about it, where or like it's something that's mentioned in a stand up where he talks about like, well, you know, when my people were thrown on a boat, I have no idea. Like, sorry, not sorry. And I'm like, yep, that's exactly how I feel. I don't know where my people are from. So Nikki is saying any phrase while I'm watching a good show. Ugh, shut up. Wait until the commercial or even when Netflix pops up with that dumb. You still still watching Bubble? 
that's a tr- that's a trigger for me. Yes, I'm fucking still watching. They don't ask care me about you. <laughs> don't ask. And YouTube started doing it. No, <laughs> like let me. Or are you still listening? If I'm listening to music, like just let me listen to music, dude. I don't care if I miss a song. I can rewind on my own. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that's listening. That's your TED talk. <laughs> that's my TED talk for the day. Um, also, I think a positive on the same level uh, as my fame is uh, what up, fam. I love I love that. Really? Yeah, I love it. Mm. What a fam! It makes it. I don't know. It's it's an endearment. It makes us feel closer. And I don't think there's anybody that's ever said it to me that I've been like, we ain't family. Okay, so I was thinking like strangers would say it to you. You're talking about the people you're familiar with. Yeah. Hmm. I was saying. I think I was thinking you're saying strangers say that to you, but you're talking about people you're familiar with saying that to you. I mean, I think. I would consider anyone that's ever said it to me a friend. Later, Texas One pilot. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. No one's ever said it to me that I like didn't typically enjoy as a person. So mm. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's like it's a fun one. Um, what up, fam? And then was it Brandon? So we have a friend back home from Virginia who would say, who like, I think he was like introduced to that phrase and he was like, what does this mean? People just come up to me and say, what up fam? I'm so confused. What up fam? But I think when he pointed it out, I, I started noticing it more, the more, like the more people who say it to me hmm. and I've, I, it always just like brings back happy memories. So it makes me happy. No, not knocking it. Just curious. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's a unique one. It's a unique one. Yeah. Does it? So Monet was saying if they they were white, <laughs> we'd look at them different and be like, mm, I don't know. It always depends on how well I know. It depends on how well I, I mean. Like if our old roommate was white, and he if he said "What up, fam?" to us, it wouldn't bother. Nah, nah. He taught me how to dug it. No, I'm just kidding. No, what did he taught? He taught what it was it? Mm-hmm. There was some song Shmoney. He taught us how to oh, Shmoney. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, I don't, we're not, (laughs) we are not up on what the cool kids are doing these days. And that's when I realized I was getting old and it was sad. Um, Speaking of our old roommate and like, you know, met him through people that went to Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trigger for both of us as Hokies, uh, graduate to Virginia Tech. Oh, you went to Tech? So uh, were you there when the like, you know, because no one ever really says it. Mm-mm. They just say, like, were you... I feel like there's a good half of them where they're like, oh, I probably shouldn't talk about this halfway through the question. Yeah, they're like, should I... Oh! And, like, that kind of response. And I'm always like, mm, on the inside. And then I know questions are coming. And, like, the people that are more curious will finish the question. and like, so were you there? There was nobody that stopped for the first like five years after it happened for me. Everybody just every single time. But you were there. Yeah, I was there. And if you're not familiar with what we're talking about, we're talking about 416, where there was a shooting at Virginia Tech. And I was that was my junior year of high school, so I wasn't there yet. Um, but I still wanted to go there and I still applied and still went. And it's four of the most amazing years of my life and I am very I have such a love and such a support for Virginia Tech and like my like it's it's my alma mater I have so much school spirit and I love it so it really really bugs me when that is like the main thing that people think about when we reference that school well that or Michael Vick that or Michael Vick and when they mention Michael Vick in a negative light um because he's an amazing football player he did did some dumb shit but (laughs) amazing football player um I do get I do get like were you there when Michael Vick was playing and usually those people are people like acknowledging that he's a good player and not dumb things that he did yeah 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 do you want your own glass no I want to share you want to share Just pour some more um okay we're in the middle of a pandemic dude uh yeah so dude. if I'm going down you're going down Going down for real. I feel like it's an interesting thing to talk to couples that are like, you need to social distance from me in my own house. Huh? Yeah. Gail and uh, 
Gail. <laughs> no, that's, that's not, that is right. not the couple. I'm just kidding. Okay, I, and and I'm the, uh, the just... Stedman was traveling and he came back and Oprah was like, nah, brah, you can, but she has a full on guest house that's bigger than most people's like regular house. So Stedman's fine. He got fed. There is no problems there. And she was taking care of herself. I'm totally for Oprah social distancing because, you know, we got to keep Oprah around. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. But next phrase that like triggers is when people like, I we like to travel back in the day when, you know, we were allowed to get on plane. Well, I guess we still are allowed to get on planes, but like when it was encouraged to, to see the world and do things. Um, what am I hitting? You? Yeah, arm rest. <laughs> arm rest. Uh, when it was encouraged to travel the world and see things and experience things, we would go, like we went to like Thailand. And people will be like, aren't you scared? Like, aren't you going to get, like, attacked? Or, like, having to, like, defend myself from wanting to, like, get out, I think is, is like, a trigger for me. I feel like those people don't like to take risks, though. Mm-hmm. And it's like, they can't imagine what would make them take that risk. And I don't really get mad at them. Like, maybe pity, maybe not. Maybe just they need that process to, like, go through figuring out how or why they even would do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not so angry about that one. It's not so much a trigger for me. Word, word. Any other trigger phrases, friends? Um, What about, like, does it trigger you when people say, so when are you moving back to Virginia? Nah, it doesn't trigger me at all. (laughs) Like, when are you moving out of Virginia? (laughs) Flip that right back real quick. Flip it quick. Mm -hmm. Flip it, lay it down, throw it back. And reverse it. Lay it down, flip it in reverse. So, and try from I don't know what she says right there. Yeah, nobody does. Nobody does. No. <laughs> She's talking to some aliens, and oh. the Jets were part of the rest mm-hmm. of the song that mm-hmm. you know wasn't mm-hmm. his. Mm-hmm. 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 Calling in the alien, telling the aliens to stay away. Like, yo, this world is cray cray. Don't come here. Any other phrases that trigger you? Come to mind. Not that come to mind. Probably if we talk about a couple other things. I feel like I'm more like in the moment type person. In the moment. Yeah, it doesn't stick with me as much, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Does it trigger you when people call you chocolate? Nah. <laughs> you can call me sexy, sexy chocolate. It's all good. <laughs> the joke is because, like, Jay yeah. likes to think that he's light-skinned, but he ain't. <laughs> I'm sorry, not sorry, baby, but you're not light-skinned. You know, like, everything's <laughs> relative. I didn't say I was light-skinned. I'm just relatively light-skinned. Well, don't you say you're caramel? Well, you know. That's hashtag triggered. <laughs> no, we're not even in the sun. Babe. You can see me appropriately. <laughs> Not the same. Babe, you are well lit. <laughs> Babe. It's not the same. You're not caramel. Um, <laughs> Nikki says it's because she flipped it and reversed it. That's yeah, why you can't yeah. understand. I know. I know. <laughs> ah, you were hoping we would come through with the, the Missy lyrics on that one. I mean, I feel like it was it was put out into the universe at some point in time. Was it? Mm. <laughs> Side eye to Jay. Oh, cr- that's not you may you say that doesn't trigger you but i feel like you make a face every time i do it i mean i just need to let you know what i think (laughs) i just don't want you to get away with being like see jay likes it every time i do it like you don't think i'm oh you you don't want me to go around and tell people that you you think it's oh for me to go oh (laughs) just cut it short you gotta like uh, you just gotta have a study period. A study period? What's yeah. wrong with my okur? Oh, it's short. It's, it's too short. How, how is it supposed to say? Okur? Oh, no, wait. Mm. Oh, it's been a while. How, wait. But they, they mean different things. Did you not see that? that uh, what does yours mean? Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> okur oh, means okur. Oh, I know some people are triggered by people saying that in general. Yo, Cardi's noise is triggering a lot of people, though. You know, Cardi. Cardi d- does Cardi, and I appreciate that. I feel like if people get triggered for people being who they are, authentically who they are, then they can, you know, trigger themselves somewhere else. Should they can exit else. stage left. Not my business. Um, ooh, I was just thinking, mm-hmm. um, you know, mm-hmm. vegan. <laughs> That's a word. That I, it doesn't listen to an immediate response. But. I don't there's know. There's definitely a but here. But I know that's wrong. I and mean, we're in California, and so there's a lot of vegan things. And so sometimes I'm like, Ugh, uh, 
triggered, but I've been learning to appreciate vegan vegan foods. I actually got vegan cheese yesterday and I'm going to try it because I feel like dairy is like messing up my stomach in case you guys needed to know that. Um, and so we're going to see how that works, but I will not ever, as much as I love Tabitha Brown and other people, like I could not fully veganize my life. <laughs> I mean, if you tell me to go vegan or like to stop drinking wine, I'm just going to jump off the balcony. What? <laughs> I, was just, I was thinking more. I wasn't actually saying anything yet. I was working my way up to it. What? Trying to form that full thought. So I was like, vegan, the word vegan affects a lot of people, triggers a lot of them. And then like on some level, I could see getting to the point where I'm triggered at people that won't eat food because it's vegan. Mm-hmm. And like, I kind of get it, but these vegan donuts, man, they oh. are amazing. So like, I will say like, especially when we were still living in Virginia, you know, I'm, I'm meat and potatoes kind of girl. Like if you are like listening to this on the podcast and you've never seen what I look like, girl, I can eat. <laughs> um, but I like, I, I love steak. I love potatoes. I love, I love, I just love food. Let's be real. Um, I love cheese. Like my diet could be cheese, steak, and wine. And I think I would be off. <laughs> and in the bathroom. And in the bathroom. I mean, it'd be a block party, but it'd, it'd be okay. <laughs> but um, what am I saying? Mm-hmm. Mm. You got lost in the sauce. I got lost in the sauce. I was thinking about steak and I was like, mm, honey. But as like the more I've like been exposed to different vegan foods, I find that it's like, not that bad. Like it's, it's like totally, um, there's some good stuff out there. Like there's a place up the street from us in downtown LA called Aulak and they have vegan shrimp and honey. They're made out of yams. They are crispy. It's like, it's like fried shrimp. And I, you can't tell me otherwise. Like the texture is so freaking on point and it's so good. It's just all good. So when I was experienced that, I was like, you know what? Maybe like I couldn't like strictly be vegan, but like I can I can I can mess with this. I can do it. It's okay. Um, but yeah, dairy makes me makes us mucusy. Dairy like makes my tummy like a little like, mm. and so I'm like, mm, maybe maybe I should uh step take a step back because I put like all the cheese on my thing. Like, mm-hmm. Throw some cheese on that bitch. Yeah, sometimes you have dishes like where I'm having cheese with the side of Rocky. Yeah. I mean, is that not how you're supposed to do it? It's, I mean, you know, to each their own. It's a, it's a, the cheese and broccoli casserole. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was thinking, like, I guess sometimes it's the equivalent though, of, like, if you have that friend or family member where they will not eat steak anyway, but well done, <gasps> like, you Triggered. need to try some other meats that aren't <laughs> cooked well done. Like, there's a variety of methods out there, and they're like, if it's got red. Get it off my plate. And it's like, mm. Mm. so you mm. like, but then I was thinking, maybe that's just a form of a wider trigger. Like, people that resist when you want to show them something new. Oh, that's a good, like, people not being open to trying new things or like, this is how they were taught or whatever. I don't, tri- when someone orders a steak well done, I think that is a trigger. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> like, mm, mm, that is rubber. I've had a good steak that was well done before, though. It can happen. Mm, mm. Sometimes you can get the char there. Yeah, there's a nice little char. If it's still juicy, like, I mean, there are ways to make it juicy and still be, like, cooked through all the way through. But it's, for me, it's, like, few and far in between to, like, be able to, like, master it at the right, like, perfect time. Um, Because also, like, you know, the steak, you got to let it rest and it's going to continue to cook, right? So if you cook it till it's well done, while, like, fully well done, instead of pulling it out while it's still got a little bit of, like, pink in the middle and you don't let it like rest to get up to well done when it's going to be overcooked dude and it's going to be dry and it's going to be gross so i started off on a well done life though i mean i I feel like i feel like it is especially in the black community i think it's a huge thing to like eat well done you have to like all your food needs to be fully prepared sushi is not a thing like my parents would never eat sushi um is that a black thing or a southern thing okay i think it's a black i mean i think it's an older black thing? I don't know. I mean, I don't know a whole lot of people that are older than our generation in the black community that will eat sushi, unless they're from California. Yeah? Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, I know my parents would need it. I don't think I know any aunties or uncles that would eat it. I was on, I wasn't exposed to sushi until my sophomore year of high school, and my friend is actually a quarter Japanese, and she ate sushi. So, but like all the friends and family members you're talking about are in the south, yeah. Hmm. All of my, I mean, most of. Wait, Auntie Mary eats sushi? I believe. I can see Auntie Yai eating sushi. I'm sure she did too. Oh, yeah. So it's maybe regional. Okay, okay. I did say California people would do it. What did I break? I broke something. That's okay. But I mean, like, there's also the whole thing that it wasn't around back then, so Mm -hmm. it wasn't really a thing that people were comfortable with, so I totally get that, but... The idea is that you're going to get sick off of, like... Uncooked food. Uncooked food. In general, so like eating a well done steak or eating sushi has like all of it can come with like parasites or something, and that's gonna kill you. And were they really that hard on that though back then? They're just like it's bad for you. I don't know. I wasn't alive. I mean, like when they talk about like don't eat that fish, you're gonna get sick. So I don't. Like, I mean, you're gonna get worms. You're gonna no, get parasites. I was told like, I was gonna get worms if I eat sushi as a kid or like teens to. When I started eating sushi. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Like, though, we never had, a... had some big media news things about people getting worms from sushi. And, like, that's the most disgusting thing ever. I'll never eat sushi. Like, that was definitely a thing. But it wasn't, like, as widespread back mm. in the day. I don't know. I think it's, like, you know, if it's something that you weren't exposed to growing up or whatever, it's sometimes hard to be open to some of these things. Mm-hmm. And then you add in, you know, something that happens in the media and then all of a sudden you know i didn't i remember like ihop had salmonella when i was like eight and i had never been to an ihop before because we were a waffle house family <laughs> it's just funny <laughs> to me that that's even a phrase <laughs> we were a waffle house and a shoney's family um remember the cheese and poured over those like plastic eggs <laughs> I, could, I don't think i would eat it now but i used to love it when i was a kid uh but I had never been to a IHOP, and then I think we went to visit family in like New Jersey, and they were like, "Let's go get some food." And we went to IHOP, and I was like, "I'm not eating at IHOP," <laughs> but I ended up eating at IHOP, and I was like, "But I was terrified the whole time. I was like, I'm gonna get salmonella and die." <laughs> and then I realized that maybe the media doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna like legitimately die that second. <laughs> Yeah, my dad wouldn't eat at Denny's, so we didn't have Denny's, like, practically at all growing up. That's okay. We didn't miss out. <laughs> I like their sausages. It's probably, like, bad, but I like them. Um, okay, one, we have, I have one more phrase on the list. Let us know any other phrases that you have, because uh, we still got, like, 20-ish minutes left to, like, do whatever if you guys want to hang out for that long. Um, and that is... The, the amount of experience needed, my, a big trigger, the amount of experience needed in any job application, not equating the level of which the, the job is, AKA you need six years of experience for an entry level position. Hashtag triggered. Jay's just like, I got an internship that led to my first job and I've been at my same job for like 87 years. So I don't know this feeling. You got to get them back doorways. That's the only answer <coughs> sometimes. You sound nasty. Oh. You nasty. Oh. Shoney's, that's Myrtle Beach talk. Oh, the dirty Myrt. <laughs> Sorry. I think some people are triggered by that phrase too. Um, you eat that almost every time you go. Shoney's is still a thing? I didn't even know Shoney's was still alive. In some people's lives. In some people. I didn't. All of the Shoney's that was in Virginia were shut down. Um, all right. What is good at Shoney's? I want to know. The cause... eggs that are made of plastic, I'm pretty sure. And the cheese that's also made of plastic, I'm sure. Like, when I think back to what it tastes like, I'm like, man. 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 You can only say those things about Taco Bell. Like, come on. I mean, like as far as like, I will have a chalupa that... any day. I don't care what. I yeah. I, I see. I've seen Give their bad thing. It, I was like, it comes out of a tube, and I don't even care. I like that they just have those caulking guns for caulking like, guns? toppings. Yeah, you, you mean squirt them into your taco shell? You mean a pipe? Nah. Like piping tubes? Yeah, like but you use it has for a squeeze trigger. They just... don't pipe it into your taco. Okay. That's inefficient. Though. All right, Jack in the wait, Jack in the beef. Jack in the box. 
Jack in the Box beef was tainted, and when we grew up, and at one point, oh snap, you can go Jack in the Box. I mean, I don't really care for Jack in the Box. I'm not, not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Like, I think this might be a phrase that will trigger a lot of Californians. Yeah, that's a trigger. I don't care for it at all. It's because you don't like real food. I you want the grease. I, I, I'm okay you with the Five Guys team. I mean, Five Guys was my first job, and I worked there for like four years. And I mean, look. Greasy Love. food is good. I mean, it's got grease. I think it's the fry. The fries bug me because I don't care how quick. Like I could eat them they straight out. Natural. Stay straight out of the drive through. Like you push the <laughs> <laughs> triggered. Triggered. <laughs> like, Nikki's triggered. Like, have you ever talked to somebody that didn't like fresh vegetables because they tasted like vegetables? They're like, well, this is well, a vegetable that- taste. So like, uh, uh-uh, I want this like baked cheesy vegetable. And you're like. I no, but this is I've never heard anyone say that. Like. But I have heard I don't like fish because it tastes like fish, and I think that, <laughs> I'm never I'm not triggered by it. But I'm like, I mean, but it's fish. But basically, that's <laughs> where the potato talks go. And it's like these potatoes don't stay prime for too long. You're like, I but the potatoes like maybe that's how it's supposed to be. And like I don't care. No, because you know what? Bad. I know that that's not how the potatoes supposed to be. Because like you said, I worked at Five Guys, and I used to have to. Throw in some Idaho potato into the cutter. Go, whoop. that thing was hard too. And I was not tall enough though? for. Uh, <laughs> Where did you get that grease from? Though? It was peanut oil. Mm, was it? It was peanut oil. Just it came in these big oil. ass, big ass jugs, and we pour. We we like clean the fryer. Psh, bruh. If it's just peanut bruh. oil, then why don't they taste and, as and good you, as Chick Fil A fries? Because they're not waffle cut. Mm, they don't get exposed to to enough oil. Can't just be that. But you gotta like you have them. Ha- I get I liked mine well done. So like typically I think it's like two minutes is how how much is on the fry timer. I don't remember. It's been I don't know shit like ten years <laughs> since I worked there. But I think it was like two minutes on the fry timer, and I'd always have to like bump it like an extra minute or so to get them like super crispy. So for those that don't know, typically when it's an Eastern and Western thing, you're talking about uh, fast food spots that aren't. The top three, Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, you get into like the regional stuff and a lot of Western people are all about the in and out, which started in Cali, I'm pretty sure. It's all up on the West Coast. Eastern side, a lot of people are on that Five Guys life. And all I need to tell you is Five Guys, it is known that you don't keep your food in the bag for too long because the grease will melt the bag and your food will fall out. Will it it melt the bag though? It's a known thing. (laughs) Like, if your Five Guys bag is falling apart 10 minutes in, you're not surprised. Well, you know what? If you had in and out in a bag, it would fall apart. But they give it to you in this carrying not. case. <laughs> so oh It would not, for one. Okay, but my thing. Two, tell me that isn't some genius level little setup for their car eating in and in and out. I mean, Sonic got it too, though. Is it? Is it the same? I don't know. <laughs> But the point, I guess, my thing is, I like my fries like hella crispy, and like I feel like they start off like soggy, and so then they get soggy and cold by the time I put it in my mouth, and I'm just like, ah. And I think I'm also wait the very see. hold on, let me finish my story. Sure, 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 sure. Um, the very first time I had In and Out, and this is probably why, is because we, I was mad at Justin because we were going to be late for our flight. We had to return a car. We got the In and Out. And I waited until we got into the like terminal for the flight. So like it already been sitting for, I don't know, 40 minutes before we actually ate it. You should have ate it in the car. And you didn't tell like, but you didn't, you didn't make it known that like, babe, this isn't going to be good in 20 minutes. Like you should have said, babe, just eat it now. So you can experience the true like beauty that is in and out. And you should always do that the first time you eat it anyway. Yeah, probably should, but like right. I was, I was, I was already irate. I was irate with you for like running us running late, and like I'm like I I have never missed a flight. We sat for at least five minutes in front of our flight. We were not that late. I yes, we 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 had enough time to sit down and eat our cold ass fucking in and out, and I was mad. I was still mad because you were like you were so calm the whole time, and I'm like, Jason, we're gonna miss our flight, and I'm like freaking out. And Jay's like, I do this every week because if you don't know and you don't know Jay's back backstory, he was coming to LA every single week for four years straight. He had a lot of freaking miles at one point um, before we actually moved out here, 
And so he's got this like whole coming, like getting to LAX, getting through whatever, super fast, super quick, like, well, maybe not super fast, but like, he's got it all down to a science. And I am like, kind of of a mind, I, at that time, I was still of a mindset of like, you at least need to be like 90 minutes early for your flight. Maybe not the full two hours, but like, I'm still of like, let's show up. And Jay's like, let's show, let's, let's like walk through at like 45 minutes. Like, that's cool. Like whatever. Like I can check my bag. I got priority status. I mean, I got TSA pre-check. I don't think I had pre-check at that time either. So I was just like, hello, like, ah! It was like at 11 o'clock. <laughs> the line was not that serious. <laughs> Deb is watching and says he doesn't like in and out I don't mind their burgers. I think their burgers are good, but their fries have never, like, I like the, the idea of animal fries. Let me try to just though. never warm enough. The thing that you I think you know, but people need to know is you have to go to the right in and out. And apparently since I've been back, the right Wait, there's in and five out, guys in California? Yeah, it's some spots. <laughs> I didn't even know five guys. Yeah, they're out here. But wait, Honestly, let me, let me yeah, finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, and apparently nowadays the right in and out in a lot of areas is time specific, which makes things weird. Mm -hmm. like sometimes you just gotta go there after 10 o'clock sometimes you don't go there during the middle of the day because they got crappy set up they're not about their food sometimes it just depends it just depends and well, Monet one. will eat the bag is what she said I'm pretty saying, sure that's talking about five guys I, yeah it was I like how both the five guys people commenting on it know all exactly about how greasy that bag is that, I mean I it didn't say nice. I didn't say the bag I, it is known for you say. I didn't say the bag didn't get greasy. I worked there. I know the bag is greasy. And honestly, I will be I'll, I'll be real. Like my five guys loyalty is like if I can walk into the back and make it my damn self. I like because I know like secret tips and tricks and little, little things back there. Like one, I I like my burgers medium. So to have I know that for a fact they only make it well done and we had a discussion about well done earlier. So when I used to work there, I would get a medium. So and like I'm I'm a little bit more specific about like my toppings level and I know that they have like a standardized how much of each topping they put on things and my topping level doesn't meet their standardized so, levels so i don't want them standard five guys burgers so. i don't want i don't want a standard burger and i don't want the standard fry like i like i need an extra 30 seconds on my fries i need an i need you to pull that that patty off off the grill at least a minute before you're supposed to pull it off the grill all of these things so mm. i don't that's why i don't need a five guys burger. Mm. So I will say I would eat a hot dog from Five Guys though. That is just so and get it well done. Me. I just don't understand. It's like, a it's national. You go in there for the greasy burger and the fries, and then you get a hot dog. It's just like <sighs> swerving out of the lane, taking you get a seat. hot dog with their fried I just onions. Don't know. I, oh, and that's the other thing. I always want the fried onions thrown back on the grill to get them like a little bit extra crispy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's just things or fresh fried onions. <laughs> she's glad that we're not making whataburger equal i don't even oh. know if i've ever had a whataburger i don't know if i've had a whataburger but the things that actually do trigger me are the steak and shake i was things. gonna say people that have like a feels about steak and shake i'm not steak impressed. and shake sh steak sh shake shack there's a couple other i'm like, not impressed sorry not sorry shake, burger sandwich spots however love. can we agree on the cookout no nah. damn it was there after i was gone I don't have the cares. You don't have cares about no, cookout? No, they didn't get their cheap college food into me while I had the chance. Did so. you ever have cookout? No, that's what I'm saying. Well, I had it once when we went back, and I was like, oh, oh great. A $2.50. Dude, nuggets, you can get another a $2. burger. Another $2.50 side of burger. Like, Sweet. Whatever. honey, you can get a five fifty five. I don't know what what the price How of it much is does now. in and out cost? I don't know. I, it's like I understand. A in and out. burger. Oh it does my blow God. my mind that the burger is less than three dollars. But like, come on now, you can go for five fifty five. You can get a burger with a side of chicken nuggets, with a side of another burger, and for an extra dollar, you can get a milkshake. Like, come through. How high were you the first time this got? <laughs> I was not. I just came straight from a rugby game, and I was like, "Come through, cookout." <laughs> How dare you not have cookout, Justin? That is right. Speak, speak life, because wow. he's not from the South. <laughs> this is not nepotism at all. She over here like, cookout, highlight it instantly. Go. Yep. I hear you. I well, hear you. you have full access to this computer. You could totally 
click the button and highlight whatever comment you want to highlight, Bill. Yo, it's like, it's like, my but people it was, speak for me. They all that me. for $5, though. All right, good. Come through. That's questionable. Have we seen Bakers out here? What is Bakers? Tell Never me about, teach me, this, this, con- <laughs> this is shifting a whole new conversation. We're talking about food. We're talking about triggers about different foods and like fast foods. Oh man. Uh, shake and shake. Let's wait. Steak and shake. Steak and shake. Let's dogs inside. Ooh, that's questionable. Mm-hmm. Honey. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I got to say, it's PSA for all my other peanut allergy people. <laughs> they don't tell you. I guess they cleaned it up, but Five Guys used to be one of them peanut shell places where you get free peanuts while you're waiting, and they used to be everywhere. <gasps> everywhere. But I haven't seen that in a long time, so some kid must have died or something. I mean, I'm sure someone, right. someone went into anaphylaxis, and they were like, maybe let's not. But understand, mm. it's not like I was like, yo, throw your shells all over the floor. We were, We gave people, we put bags. We like in my store, we put bags next to the peanuts so people could like put the peanuts in a bag and then put the shells inside. Man, it used to drive me insane because I would we would go out periodically to clean up the the like general area so it looks pretty. And when I saw so that is a trigger. Yeah. When I saw I so tell. many peanut shells on the ground. <gasps> there was one time where a bunch of teenager thing thing that used to happen at our place is that like Ours was like in the middle of like this this like suburban um, neighborhood, and I feel like the people that used to roll through were always like like the kid. There was always these teenagers, especially in the summer, that would roll through that were like you know, always had everything for them, and you know probably had someone cleaning up after them on a regular basis and didn't know how to like clean up after themselves. And they would come in, they would get maybe like a large fry to share, and then cups of water, and then they would get like fuck ton of these peanuts and then go hide in the corner so that we can't see from like where we're like flipping burgers and stuff and then they would just like destroy a table with like peanut peanuts. shells and triggered <laughs> so triggered <laughs> oh man i'm gonna change the subject while you're on that so i kind of didn't know that restaurant snacks were such a thing in the south restaurant and, snacks yeah so like little I, there's a phrase for it but like little things will give you to snack on while you're waiting for your food usually Apple it's teeth? A, that's what you usually drink isn't it yeah it is a treat mm-hmm. so usually like uh it's at sit down restaurants that i'm used to but like the peanuts basically is mm-hmm. one of them but like apparently it's a thing some places they give them pickles so i worked at this ted montana grill and that was one of the things we offered we'll give you a bowl of pickles while you wait like sliced pickles i'm like this is no, just so weird. Like, what are some of the weirder things? Because, like, I feel like peanuts, I feel like, are expensive. How did they give them out for free like that? I don't think peanuts are that expensive. No? Nah. 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 It's in, didn't, like, but planters pickles. make a whole fortune off of that, though? I mean, because they planted a lot. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> planters planted. I gave you that one. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. What can I say? Are we going to learn right. how to Wait, open Nick bo- said they changed it up. Oh, they, they cleaned it up. Peanuts. That's literally the only reason they they used to go there. We used to go there. Okay. Um, yes. Do you want to talk we about how they... I, uh, Nah, nah. Nah. Mm-hmm. Nope. Because nope. you're nope. going to mess it up. Look, after opening biscuits <laughs> as a kid, I don't really need the excitement that other people get. From opening, opening a bottle of bubbles? Opening um, things that I think explode in front of you. A trigger for me is when people open bubbly wrong because... Uh, I'm like, dude, you're about to kill yourself. Fun fact. That's half bubbles. Time. Bubbles get up to the cork can go up to 45 miles per hour, and 26 people die every year from a cork to the dome. So you should take opening bubbles seriously. And so we're about to open some sparkling rose because hashtag Friday, hashtag International Rose Day. Um, so fun fact. Also, finish? there's only, there's six twists when you twist the cage. Leave your cage onto your bottle. Hold the side of the cork and let the bottle do the work and turn. Your bubbles should always be cold. That is why we have an ice chest to the side here to maintain the coldness of this bottle. It might still explode everywhere because the top of it isn't cold, but I can feel it. Ooh, Ooh fly part. Hey, when? You should move the camera a little. Hmm. Huzzah. And we didn't spill any. So. Make sure your bubbles are super, super cold. 
and uh, do all the other steps that I said when you open your bottle of sparkling. And one, you won't have it exploding all over the place. You won't lose a drop. And it'll be awesome. So Cheers to me. If you don't want any fun, follow her directions. <laughs> or if you want a hole in your ceiling. Wait, wait, wait. Not in your ceiling. Maybe like in... Maybe not a hole, but like a dent in your ceiling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. let's like rephrase this. Maybe if you want some coloration and a good story about your ceiling. Do you even have a good? What's the story, babe? Is there a good story? I, I'm I'm waiting for this story. Mm-hmm. What's the story? So one time, when your boyfriend mm-hmm. was opening a wine, mm-hmm. he didn't follow your instructions, mm-hmm. and you got this as a reminder to always listen to your <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> And this is like something when I'm having a hard time, I like to look up at and say, I did that. <laughs> you did that? I did that. You did that. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. You understand that uh, mm-hmm. it's not this apartment that you did it? <laughs> well. So there's nothing for you to look at. And that was a horrible story. Still time. <clears throat> you should tell it at a party sometime. I haven't said that phrase that in a long time. No, I love that phrase. No, when people say <laughs> bubbly. No. No, not really. Mm. Is it a trigger for you when I like when I trill? No, the trigger is the lipstick stains on everything. Then don't drink out of my glass. Sometimes it's my glass. You're welcome. <laughs> you should move the cap. Which one? That one's the cap. Why? Because it wasn't covering you all the way. I mean, it's okay. I want people to see all of me. All of me. Oh, you're not gonna be <laughs> no. your backup. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That's all. all of me loves all of you. All your curves and all your edges. All your perfect imperfections. Wait, what is he talking about? I have their edges. I have like no the idea. Rough edges. Edges? I mean Like what if his wife got mad at him because she's like I mean, Chrissy it, Teigen ain't got edges, like, though. I mean, she might have that day, though. Chrissy Teigen, her hair, the way her hair is set up, girlfriend ain't got edges. What is she, though? What is she a mix of? She is Thai yeah. and what? I think. Hmm. Mer? 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 I feel like somebody here knows. Who knows? What is Chrissy Teigen? I think she's Besides awesome. Besides awesome. Besides freaking awesome. She's literally one of my favorite humans. Then why haven't you bought her cookbook yet? Um, because I don't buy cookbooks. Oh, well. Every cookbook that I own has been a gift, aka my Bob's Burgers cookbook. AKA, Wait, that's mine. That no, Eddie bought that for me for my birthday. Don't even play. I just let you use it. Pretty sure. Nope. No, 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 no. As long because you, you, you at the time you weren't even home enough to cook. So why would he buy you a cookbook? Boy, buy my thug, my thug. Yo, that is that is yours. That is yours. That is yours. The Thug Kitchen is yours. I was about to say, you start to appropriate all the cookbooks over here. The Thug Kitchen is yours. The Thug Kitchen is yours, but some people. people. And I'm pretty sure I gave you a chicken cookbook that's digital that you have yet to use. Hmm. You're right. I've actually forgot about that. We should do that. Does anyone have a favorite cookbook? Just curious. Uh, Their parents or their family one? Usually, right? Yeah. It should be. We are going to time out on Instagram and a minute and 30 seconds. It's been real. So if you want to hang out with us a little bit more, are you thinking that we're going to talk a little bit more, babe? I don't know. I don't know if anybody's participating. Anybody still there? Give us a shout. Who that is? Who that say going to beat them saints? <laughs> I'm not even a saints fan. I don't know that phrase. It was like a thing when they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, not where I always look at. I think, that, weren't you like in their stadium with them all? Saints. Trigger. Speaking of a trigger. New Orleans? Nah. Nalens. Where did you go to the Super Bowl? Florida. Oh, lame. Uh, <laughs> lame. Speaking of a trigger, Instagram, you might lose out on this this story. Actually, I'm just gonna end you over there. So thanks oh. so much for watching. Thanks for coming. We're gonna continue this conversation on the Facebooks. So if you're not following me on Facebook, like why not? Okay. Cheers. And we're going to end it now. We're going to share it to IGTV and I'll figure all that mess up later. But throwing it back to once upon a time in a land called the United States of America. Mm, here. Here. Uh, Justin had a cousin. 
I still, still have that cousin <laughs> who uh, played for the Patriots. Hashtag triggered because Patriots. I am not a Patriots fan. I am 100% a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Philadelphia Eagles fan. And flip, 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 Philadelphia. And this guy. This guy? You're supposed to be like this guy. No, I'm just going to take it. <laughs> you're just going to chill out. Mm-hmm. You're going to chill out, max and relax, all cool. Mm-hmm. You know, because uh, Fresh Prince was in West Philadelphia. So I'm pretty sure he was an Eagles fan, too. You would think, but I never actually saw any Philly gear on him, from what I remember. You know, that's okay. <laughs> but this bubble is mine now. Where is he actually from? You know, Will Smith does what will smith wants uh but anyway he's he's, a, he's from entanglement not an answer. <laughs> he's from entanglement not an answer <laughs> you ain't got all the answers way uh, okay. okay you do that while i'm telling this story so justin this guy uh he his cousin used to <laughs> oh ooh, oh Monet says that she gets triggered every time she sees Cam Newton in a Patriots jersey. Stop. Mm. Stop it. Users Stop it. Oh, I'm triggered. I am so triggered right now. <laughs> mm. I like Cam Newton, too. He was great when he played for, you know, the Panthers, but <laughs> Pats. Oh. But anyways, Jay's cousin was a tight end. It and a, like a serious <laughs> It was. It was. I had to move the movement of, like, my heart to like actually continue working because the pats man he was like if they're yes and he's 51 will smith should be an eagles fan i'm pretty sure he is he's He's only worth 250 mil only 250 mil oh for 2040 only 250 mil like that's you know it's around 350 mil now 350 mil god damn will smith can i borrow a dollar (laughs) like can i can i borrow 50 dollars can i hold can you just buy a shit ton of wine for me, Will Smith? Anyways, so Justin's cousin was a tight end for the Patriots. Wasn't he captain? Was he captain? Yeah, for know. a period of time. He was captain for a period of time. And uh, so what year is that? Was that, do you know? Off the top of your 20, 2000? The year he was captain? No, the year that you guys went to. The Stuper Bowl? The Stuper Bowl. Um, I guess it would be twenty. Uh, no, 2008 maybe. I mean, Carolina was like a close second because I would never be a Redskins fan, being even though I was from Virginia. Like Monet, that's a great point. I was my dad was always a Philadelphia Eagles fan growing up, so I became an Eagles fan. But I think if my dad wasn't an Eagles fan, we probably would be Panther fans. But because they got pretty jerseys. Their jerseys are so pretty. I actually think Tennessee Titans have a better, like, I like that that blue on theirs, but, like, the Panthers, that their jerseys are hot. And Cam Newton, also hot. Mm, he is, though. He's so cute. He's just tall. He's so cute. Mm, mm. Logan Thomas. I don't, where does he play for right now? Talking about Virginia Tech players when I was in, in high school, in college. And Tyrod's, where did Tyrod go? He used to be for the Titans. He's on the Titans right now. Uh, you he no, he was on the he was on the Ravens for a while. Anyways, he was on the Bills as well. Yep, he did play for the Bills. Uh, I'll look up the this guys. story is gonna take forever. Uh, this is welcome what happens when you welcome to wine about story. it. Once we get to the second bottle of wine, everything just kind of like trickles down. And so, Justin's cousin played he's on the Chargers. He's on the Chargers right now. Yeah, we can be a Chargers fans. Oh well, you can be a Chargers fan. I, I will be a Tyrod fan, but I cannot be a whole nother team fan. Um, thus, I'm also a Cam Newton a fan, but I can be a whole nother team fan. A whole nother team. Mm-hmm. All right. Use Ravens, Bills, Browns, and then Chargers. Okay, good for I that. I was so wrong about Tyrod. The full Tyrod. But, uh, so, Jay's cousin Daniel played tight end for the Patriots, and Jay got to go to the Eagles-Patriots game, Super Bowl. The one that the Eagles lost, the not the one that we lost. won, <laughs> not the one that we won. I probably shouldn't be continu- still shitting my pants if we, if we were like physically there. But uh, oh my gosh, I was in eighth grade when that happened. So you were like 
sophomore in high school. So I'm like, what? With like your little braces and things. Yes, I never had braces. You never had braces? No. The devil's a liar. I have glasses. I had glasses and braces, bro. Yeah, how long have you had glasses? I've had glasses since the third grade. Um, about the same, first grade. And I got contacts in the eighth grade. And then I got braces in the sixth grade. So I was a glasses, braces, jacket. I was a glasses, braces, jacket girl in the sixth grade. You remember? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there's a YouTube video for a guy that tells jokes. And he's like, they call me glasses, jackets, what? shirt man. Shirt man. Um, and he and it's like they're doing rap video, but it's like I'm mad how good that works though. It's like rap battles, but the rap battles are awful. <laughs> and he's like, they call me glasses jacket shirt man, and I wear my glasses jacket shirt. <laughs> it's it's hilarious because it's awful rap battles, but it's, it's funny. The wrong number. <laughs> but that's the wrong number. Um, funny stuff. And I honestly couldn't explain why it's funny. Yeah, I don't know why it's funny. It's just funny. It makes me laugh because it's because it's horrible raps. But I think I think what makes it funny is that like everybody because it's also like a whole group of people because it's like like it's like a legit rap battle from like you know Eight Mile and there's like a whole bunch of people around them and they're like oh like it's like the dopest line alive. So I think that's probably why. But overall, I'm triggered because Justin was in the in real life at the eagles patriots game where the patriots actually won the game and you know he got to have that experience and he was a pats fan for quite some time you know 20 minutes later and jay's like i mean i did what i did i have no i have no allegiances in the nfl anymore so uh you know i guess i'll be a chargers fan Mm -hmm. Sounds solid so far. I can't even with you. I feel like if you're in your 30s, you can't just like pick a team. How? I um, mean, why is age a gate for sports? Like, what gatekeeper I fe- is 30 years my old? Like, gatekeeper, you my gatekeeper. My three year old gatekeeper. Get down! <laughs> My Get out of gatekeeping is that you should have already picked your team and made an allegiance to your team. I did. I just don't feel like I need to stay with them. I mean, I think I probably, we would have regular fights. (laughs) I just dropped my phone. We would have regular fights if if you were a Pats fan. Would we? No. We'd have regular disappointments. I'd have regular go fuck yourselves. Um, You're, because you don't, Mm. you're not as hype about sports as I am. Hashtag triggered. I get like so excited and he's like, eh, they won. Eh. They lost. Well, you know, that play was kind of like, he'll like psychoanalyze and like get all analytical what? about it. Get all engineer over there about it, but like be, have no emotion. I can't be with people that are like, he fouled them, but they don't actually even bother to look. Wait, they're fouls in football? Not, I'm not about that life. Not what about, about people like, Ralph, you suck! Like, alright, what do you do wrong? He caught against my team, he sucks! I'm like, that's 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 where that's where you're going with this. When have I ever said that? I'm just saying I can't be about that life. I didn't say you do that all the time. I don't do that ever. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you liking your own comment? Is that where we're at now? I made a comment and in the thread, it. and then I and then the Maybe then I highlighted it. it. And we're gonna smile for a little bit, so Who's hopefully me? we can make this <laughs> the caption of. <laughs> And hopefully Facebook will create it as a frame. Are you going to just sit like that for... <laughs> I can't. Are you breathing? You have asthma, dude. You can't just, like, do that. It's called acting. That is not acting. That is a, a, a statue. Speak for yourself. I am speaking for myself. I have a whole, like, expensive degree that says theater on it that says that's not acting. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for me to bow out. I think it's time for us both to bow out. So thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have ideas for further, hashtag whine about it. I don't know why that I put a hashtag on. There's no hashtag. Uh, any further whine about it ideas, 
for topics in the future, things that you want to drink wine and like hashtag wine about. Let's let's do it. All right. Thanks so much for what, listening, watching. Love you.